All right there, YouTube. So I've done a number of tire topics in the past. One thing I don't think I have shown you guys yet is doing an inside the tire patch. And that's what we're gonna do to here today. We got a foreign object in the tire. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull this tire off and patch it. Now there's a few things here today that I'd normally have that I don't have right at the moment, but it is what it is. Instead of using my proper tire lube, I'm gonna use some watered down dish soap. Also, instead of using the proper burnishing tool for burnishing the inside of the tire to prepare it for a patch, I'm going to be using a flap disc. My grinder that this goes in, my little air operated grinder, it's hanging out with my left sock today. So we're just going to do that. I've done it before. It works. So be kind. Well, anyway, first thing we're going to need to do here is get this tire dismounted. I've done some mount and dismount videos before, so I'm not going to go into much detail about that. This is an inner tire and it's a steel rim, so we need to make sure that we take this off of the dish side of the rim. Okay, so tires up. Do have marked on here where our puncture is. See here, here. We're gonna want to get whatever this is pulled out. Looks like it's a screw. We're going to go ahead and get our puncture location right here burnished. That should be plenty sufficient. All right, so anyway, this would probably be the proper kind of plug patch to use for this repair. This is a combination plug patch. It's got a plug and a patch in one here. I'm going to use this. These are a pain in the butt. So make sure we got enough area burnished there for a patch. We do. All right, so we're just going to use some of this rubber cement. And then we're just going to brush that on over the area that our patch is going to go. Make sure that you go past the ends of where your patch is going to be. All right, now there's always been a bit of a debate about pulling the backing off of your patch and putting rubber cement on that as well. I never have, and it's always worked just fine. So I say no. Some people say yes. I don't think it really matters to be honest. So 
we're not going to put rubber cement on our patch we're just going to put it on okay so now that our rubber cement has had a minute to dry up a little bit we're just going to peel our backing off of our patch lay it on there And then we're gonna stitch it. Okay, so now that all that's done, all we got to do is get the tire remounted, air it up, check our repair. Didn't even need the bead blaster. Set it, seat it itself. All right, so we're all aired up. Here's where I've got my mark for where our repair was. Spray a little bit of our soapy water on there. No bubbles. So I think we're good to go. We'll go ahead and get this tiger back on there and. All right, so it's a few days later here now. The inside tire here is the one that we did our repair on, and it's still holding air just fine. See the cat eyes still closed. So there you have it. That's how you patch a tire. Anyway, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day.